Summarizing 5-Year Implementation of Law on Advertising High Tech Park Management Board makes dialogue with investors. DRT News is happy to have you watching today. On September 29 morning in Da Nang, the Ministry of Culture, Sports and Tourism held a conference to review the five-year implementation of the law on advertising. Vice Chairman of the City People's Committee, Nguyễn Ngọc Tuấn, attended the conference. In Da Nang, along with the issuance of the law on advertising, the Municipal People's Committee launched a scheme for outdoor advertising in the city by 2020 with a vision to 2030. Both of them are considered as the basis for the well management of the city in this activity. However, in Da Nang, there are still some existing violations, such as encroaching roads and pavements, which affect the public transport, or using advertisement in foreign languages in contravention with the regulations. The Ministry of Culture, Sports and Tourism requested the localities to continue reviewing and asking the competent agencies to form and supplement regional policies to appropriately develop the advertising activities as well as encouraging the development of socialization of the local advertising activities. On September the 28th morning, the Da Nang High Tech Park Management Board organized a dialogue conference for businesses and investors in the Da Nang High Tech Park in the third quarter of 2017. The conference is quarterly organized to review the activities in the past time, collecting suggestions and feedback from enterprises, whereby contributing to building a friendly and efficient investment environment in the Da Nang High Tech Park. At the conference, representatives of enterprises mainly commented on the progress of implementing the important items of the project, such as the wastewater treatment plan, fence and entrance gate to the high-tech park, further improving quality of the power and water supply systems, the standard Nguyễn Tất Thành Street and the bus route to the high-tech park. Regarding the Da Nang High Tech Park, relevant units said that the construction items of the fence and entrance gates will be completed before November 2017. The extended Winter Tank Street is scheduled to be accomplished by late October. The wastewater treatment plant with a capacity of 4,500 cubic meters per day per night has been under the construction and expected to be completed also in October 2017. Bringing into play the connecting road to build a Da Nang software community which is strong in capacity, friendly in cooperation and diversified in fields and promoting the sustainable development of Da Nang software industry are among the key tasks which were set out by the Da Nang Software Association and its Congress for the 2017-2022 tenure taking place on September the 28th afternoon. With the goal of developing the software industry and strongly boosting the Da Nang high-tech industry, the association set up a number of strategic tasks, such as supporting its members in software production and trading, acting as a focal point to connect and create favorable conditions for member businesses to sign contracts with domestic and foreign partners or giving assistance to start business. Besides, the association will also strengthen the trade promotion activities, foreign investment promotion for software enterprises, as well as enhance the support for businesses in terms of market research and product advertising, contributing to the branding of the Nang software industry. In order to ensure power safety for the Nang APEC Economic Leaders Week 2017 in the forthcoming November, besides constructing new power projects, the Nang Power Company has taken action to rearrange the power cables hung on electric poles and ensure fire safety during the peak month. Recently, residents in some routes of Kamle district have been happy to see the telecommunication cable systems have been tidied up by electricity staff. In the peak month of clearing cables hung on electric posts and ensuring fire safety, the electricity sector have made much effort to ensure production and power supply, as well as handle unexpected circumstances and most importantly, 
complete the refurbishment of urban cable systems to meet the planned schedule for APEC Economic Leaders Week. On September the 29th morning, the Family General Hospital, in collaboration with the BNH Hospital from Thailand, organized a first aid and cardiopulmonary resuscitation training for employees of hotels and resorts, serving the APEC Economic Leaders Week in Da Nang. At the training course, employees from 17 hotels and resorts serving delegates during the APEC Economic Leaders Week taking place in Da Nang in the forthcoming November were provided and trained with rescue and first aid skills. The doctors also guided the ways to minimize negative traumas to victims and other specialized knowledge. The training course takes place in two days, thereby contributing to the city health sector preparation for APEC Economic Leaders Week and ensuring absolute safety for delegates if any unexpected medical incidents occur. In the first nine months of this year, Da Nang has maintained stable economic growth in which economic indicators have reached or exceeded the levels of the same period of last year. In particular, total shows of output is estimated to increase by 7.9% compared to the same period of 2016. The estimated growth of industrial output value for the ninth month period is 10.8% over the same period of 2016. Total budget revenue in the first nine months of 2017 is estimated to reach over $17 trillion. Total visitor arrivals to Da Nang for this nine-month period surpasses 5 million, constituting a total estimated tourism revenue of more than 15 trillion dollars. Over the first nine months of the year, the city has granted investment licenses to 73 new FDI projects with a total registered capital of 61.6 million USD, four times higher than the figure of the same period of 2016. Under the direction of the city's People's Committee Chairman Huynh Đức Thơ, the key tasks and targets for 2018 must be set right in the third quarter of 2017, with the requirement of reviewing and considering reasonable balance of resources. The preparations for investment procedures for the key constructions of 2018 must be urgently completed before October the 31st in order to boost the implementation right from the beginning of 2018. Accordingly, the basic construction procedures also need to shorten the implementation time while the works under the construction are required to speed up the progress of compensation, site clearance and capital disbursement. Currently, the local banks have timely provided capital for clean agriculture production, contributing to helping farmers and businesses to develop their production towards supplying safe, competitive and high-quality farm produce. According to the State Bank of Vietnam Da Nang branch, as of August 31, 2017, the loan credit for rural agriculture in the city reached $3,700 billion. Through the program, the local banks have not only solved the financial issue for agriculture, but also given an orientation for agriculture production from small trading to large-scale ones, with more effective connection. Enterprises and production households which were given opportunities to assess preferential capital sources have actively invested in clean agriculture sector. They have developed the process for producing, processing and consuming organic farm produce in the market, contributing to well implementing the City of Force program, which includes the city target of ensuring food safety and hygiene. On September the 29th morning, the People's Committee of Anhai Tây War held an inauguration ceremony for the Anhai Communal House, which was recognized at a city-level historical relic site in 2006. The Anhai Communal House was built in the 15th century as a place for spiritual activity and for locals to express sincere merit to their predecessors who deserved the credit for founding and developing the village. This is also the village located on the land of Anhai Citadel, where took place the fight against French colonialists in the mid-19th century, on the very first days when the French troops landed in Da Nang. In 2017, Sun Chia District 
invested, restored, repaired, and embellished the communal house with a total cost of more than 600 million dollars, making it worthy of the title of a city-level historical relic site. And that's it for today's news. Please remember to log on to drt.anang.vn to rewatch our programs. Thank you for being with us, and see you next time.